kind of felt like we were living the American dream. Great house, plenty of room, four bedrooms. When the recession hit, it hit real estate first. It struck a pretty devastating blow. From one year to the next, um, my income was obliterated. August of 2007, we went eight months without yeah, commission eight, checks. So my income from 2007 to 2008 dropped 80 percent. It doesn't matter it's, how good at budgeting it, you are. Yeah, I mean, we, <laughs> we, we tighten the belt. When Lindy and I first started talking about the possibility of leaving our, our home, we sort of asked, okay, where, where would we go? We knew it was gonna be nine months. There was a possibility I would need to commute back for client meetings. And in the process or the thinking through that, the South America was just too far for that to happen. So we settled on looking at Central America. And within Central America, a series of events led us to look specifically at Nicaragua. We did the research the way anybody would. We went to the bookstore and looked for guidebooks on different countries in Central America that we'd heard of. And I quickly learned that it's the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere behind Haiti, and that it's also the safest country in Central America, which as a father and a husband, the safety thing was really important to me. We literally packed up our house during the day, and I think we had to be at the airport at like 4.30 or so. Tanned over the keys, drove to SeaTac Airport. Homeless, leaving everything that we knew and were familiar with behind, moving to a country where we didn't speak the language. Go for Hope is an education nonprofit. We provide education solutions for children in Nicaragua, and our model is a little bit different in that all the projects that we support, we provide funding for, are actually run by Nicaraguan organizations. So they're Nicaraguan solutions for Nicaraguans by Nicaraguans. We're just there to provide the funding and support that they need to continue operations. We guide trips to Nicaragua, specifically with the target of family-based trips, and the revenue from those trips goes toward our operational expenses so that when donors provide donations to Go For Hope, that money goes almost directly, entirely, to education. People might want to know about your life since they're in Nicaragua and they're really far away. I mean, I realize the global importance of connecting people and having a better understanding um, of others beyond just what you know in your own community. In the United States, and we were such a privileged country, um, many people just don't even realize that there is any life that's different. What would he be doing if he wasn't playing baseball? We also partner with a baseball academy, which is a, a really intriguing program. A, an ex-professional baseball player from the Nicaraguan national team founded this baseball academy, and his idea was that sports provides incentives for, for students to stay in school. So unlike a lot of the sports programs that exist in Nicaragua, this one actually has a component that's linked to school performance and community service. We are about families becoming closer to one another, um, providing education for students in Nicaragua, giving people a chance to experience the richness of a world that's much bigger than the 60 mile radius from their house.